Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we got one of the best vistas in the game with with uh, Dinral's horns shining with bright blue with a blood moon in the background. And this episode, we're hopefully going to be finishing up the trial of the Tabantha region by entering this shrine and then locating the shrine on Hebra Summit or Hebra Peak. Let's start with the, what is this called, No Noe, No Raji Shrine, and see what it has to challenge us with. The Four Winds, No Raji Shrine. Well, I have a pretty good idea of what this is going to be doing for us. It's just going to be another wind, in, uh, wind shrine. Okay. Uh, where are, whoa. Whoa! This... This has to be one of the biggest shrines we've ever seen. That's... Wow. Just look at this! Look at the scale of this... Behemoth of a shrine. We're gonna shoot there. Hopefully you're not blowing us up. There's a switch. I know not what it does, but I would like to chase it down. This reminds me... This shrine reminds me of of Wind Waker. And I guess it would just have to do with the... Okay, we needed that. I, I assume we need to hit four switches here to trigger the wind. It reminds me of forests... Or the Forbidden Woods, yeah. Which makes sense considering... Um, hmm. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, boy. Uh, this is a bit weird, but I'm fine. Hopefully if it spins, I don't get knocked off. Let's hold forward. Yes, we got in. I'm also going to switch over to the Master Sword. That's another one. That's good. And now we're stuck. That They really could have designed this so it stays open once we hit the switch. Open, please. There, we're out. And I'm gonna assume that there's another switch up? Maybe? Okay, we're up here. We have not triggered this. But there's something in there. There's a- oh, there's a switch, which we need to Thread the needle, probably not with a bomb arrow, but it gets the job done. And I'm going to assume that the uh, the last switch is on the side here, and we don't need all... Oh, th there it is, there it is. Ah, get over there. Whoo! Where are we going? Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, you... Eat my shock arrow. And that's all of them. And now we fall down. Fly up. Uh, fly over. What? Wait a minute. Did you? Oh man, I. My mind might have just been blown. Come on. Yes. Ah oh, no, you can't do that. Oh, I need to recover. Speaking of recovery, Smash Five is going to come out soon, and I. I really hope that the sailcloth is in that. I almost also... I want to know, how did I... Can I just walk up this? I hope B. No. It, it doesn't look like I, I could walk up. I guess that was just a specialized case? Unless... It's more prevalent on the side. No. No, okay. Well, it's prevalent on the ledge. That's, that's an odd property. I feel like there is a possibility that I could just walk up the side of the of the apparatus. No, no, come on. No. Nope. Oh, I'm playing some fun, funky games. Air stalling here. Okay. Do it there. And now I need to get up and around. Come on. Fly up this way. It's also going against my movement, so it's a bit difficult to lock in on that airstream up and we should be 
Should be done. Did we get our chest? Ah, there it is. That's where we needed to go. So over here, this particular... Ugh, this particular chest is kind of conspicuous. Because it's, you know, a giant floating pillar. Even It's actually above... Okay. It's actually above the the monk. Fly up. And here we go. Need to do my signature super flurry. Drop. <laughs> That's not my signature super flurry. Signature super flurry. That, mm, come on. Signature. Super flurry. Oh yeah. Signature. Okay. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I did it once. I, I showed off my, my trick. Let's just leave. X champion Ruvali song. Updated. And now, we already know where the final... Just as a, a quick recap. We... Oh, good. It saved the pictures. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay. Uh, I know where we're going because... There were aerial shots, almost satellite images, if you were, on the three spires at this trial's beginning. And I know from this one that it's the it's the mushroom rocks. I don't know what else to call them. The the crag rocks, and that is Heber Peak. So if we just warp over here, you can see the resemblance. We'll be able to just jump right down and claim our, our uh, prize. Goma Asag, Asa? Asag Shrine. And it should just be right near us. Oh, speaking of which, our prompt for this one is race down a peak rings adorn. Which makes me believe that we're going to be shield surfing. Also, the visuals of these are, are just pretty sweet. It's not every day you see, you see stuff like this. You see the shrine glow outside of a shrine. So, I, oh, this is so cool! Oh, this is so cool! It's Superman, but surfing. Superman 64 meets Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Whoa! Look at that, it's so cool! Go! Yeah, oh, they're, oh, they're timed. I see. That's, that changed things. I doubt we're going to actually run out of time. If I just remain at full speed, I don't think it's possible for me to fail this, but it adds, wahoo! It adds some danger. Oh, that was kind of difficult. Oh, these rocks look like Ember Cool. Oh, the timer's getting short. I might be in trouble here if they throw me for a curveball. Come on, Link, keep up your speed. Oh, this one's gonna be close. Oh, with a quarter remaining. Let's go. Swim down. Why did I say swim? Slide down here. Avoid the stuff. Oh, I thought it was going to go for the right, but it's done. Whoa. Did you, oh, did you hear that sound? Oh, that sound. So I'm I'm a kind of, not, not really a student of it, but I pay very close attention to what sound effects are used where. Uh, and certain sound effects are, are recycled throughout the Zelda series. And that particular sound effect, right when we right when we got uh, that final gateway, was the sound effect of getting a tear of light from Twilight Princess. It was also... Ah, oh, there's another... There's another sound effect that it is, too. Give me a moment and I'll meditate on that. Ah, oh, that's what it was. I just thought of it right as I loaded in. Master the Orb. It was uh, a sound effect that was used in Battle Block Theater for starting a stage mixed with the Toilet Princess, the Toilet Princess uh, tier collectible, collected sound effect. Okay, so this I assume is going to slide. No, not going to slow, slide down. We don't need to worry about that. This ejects that, and we need to get it there. Okay. And... Do we need to get up there? Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
We need we need to fly up because this is at the end. And this Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay. This is going to be a bit weird. Uh this there Ah. Okay. Will it come? Here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it'll it'll constantly run. We need to follow this thing. Okay, let's hover here. There it is, there it is. Oh boy, can we stasis it? Yes. So we need to move this guy over there to rebound it. Move this to the right. Keep it from falling off and to direct its travel. Move this there. Move this there. Jump out of the way. We're, we're doing good. We're doing good thus far. This reverses the flow of the the escalator or the conveyor belt. I think we're going to need to stasis this. Once it picks up speed, I'll do it. Stasis. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I failed it. Oh, I failed it. No. We were so good. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so let's try that again. And then finally, we need to hit that switch. We're actually doing... Oh yeah, we're we're a little bit ahead, so I can I can make it this attempt. Hit the switch. It's the sl it's at its slowest right now. And as soon as it gets off that, I'm gonna stasis this. Stasis this. Ice that. Ah. Wait, what? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I was fine. Uh, maybe not, okay. This. This. Oh, wait a minute. I can cheat. Ooh, I can cheat. Just wait for it. All I need to do... This is gonna be easy. Just wait. I just need to wait. Is that a backdrop? It is a backdrop. <gasps> I can cheat! Get ready. Just gonna come down here. Going to fall down there. I'm gonna stasis it. Take out the master sword. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Ha! That's what you get for giving me an out. That is what you get. But actually. But actually, I wanna do this for you. Stasis this. Get in position for the button. There it goes. Get ready. Skirp. That was awkward. Skirbloosh. Off the backboard and not a perfect swish, but it's a score. That's how you're supposed to do it. I just like breaking things. Now, I did notice where the ball spawns, there's a chest. And I think uh, we can use Cryonis for this. And lift this up. And then lift this up with Cryonis. Up the ladder. And to the very peak of this shrine is our reward. What's in here? A falcon bow with attack up 13. I might t just take that because I've been using this one a little bit, so it's it's probably not at its best. And for only a three attack deficit, I'll take a new falcon bow. And with that, we're already done. We're already done with this whole thing. Huh. Okay. Now that you've collected all the three emblems, you must go to Divine Beast, Va Meadow. And as strange as that is, uh, I think that that is an excellent place to end off the episode. Like I said, 
I'm I'm setting these episodes a little bit more towards accomplishing certain goals rather than meeting certain times because this is a lot more structured than normal Breath of the Wild. Normal Breath of the Wild, we were exploring, we were setting our own pace, but with this, we are doing something very specific. So, with this episode, with uh, these these last two shrines conquered, I think that our stopping point will be getting this last shrine, which means next episode in the Legends of the Breath of the Wild, we're going to be going to Divine Beast of Ma Meadow and entering it and seeing what challenges await. Vameto was the easiest Divine Beast by far, so we're going to see if we're going to have to re reconquer it, in which case I could probably get that done in one episode, or what's in store for us. I have no idea, and I'm going to be doing it in this recording batch, so I won't be able to see you guys' tips, and I'll see you guys next time. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, then go ahead and hit that share button if you want to see my channel grow. Share your favorite video of mine with your friends. And if you would like to join me for the next episode, come back on a Monday or Wednesday to Pal Place. See you guys then. Faces him. Shoot him in the eye. Pivot. Got him in the eye. And I knocked him to the ground. I don't have stasis anymore. Yes. My feather edge is almost gone. Yes, that's great. I need to abuse that, though. Oh, my Oh my edge is broken. Well, there goes Urbosa's Fury as an option. Whoa! I've never been that close to a tornado except when it hit me before.